That's how I play the game! This controller is a piece of shit. Fuck shit, dicks, cocks, ass, balls. Fuck cocks, dicks, ass. The game was a fucking cocksucker. Bullshit! Oh my god. What? I never failed the mission. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. <laughs> Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Hello, hello. Today is Sunday, December 2nd, 2018. I am Dark Side Phil. You know every inch of you know every inch of my dick and balls. You know every inch of my dick and balls. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Um, my life. I mean, my God. I went from having an incredibly stressful uh, office job where I was overworked, but doing this as a hobby, to losing that job, getting laid off out of nowhere. Um, despite being overworked and underpaid, they laid me off. Then trying to do this for a living and seeing the foibles of that for about a year. Finally getting into a group doing it, but then seeing backlash and negativity against me on the internet for the style of video that I put out. Um, then moving across the country and being attacked nonstop by people to try to ruin my livelihood. Then seeing all the ups and downs of YouTube falling apart at its seams and having to basically adjust myself two years ago to become a full-time streamer rather than a YouTuber. And now doing this fun hybrid. And then this year, of course, kind of almost reinventing myself again to become a more chill kind of a guy and a more chill streamer rather than being always, always, oh, my God, always angry about everything or always dramatic and crap. I, you know, instead of doing that stuff, kind of being just more laid back and having fun with you guys on the streams seems to have done me wonders. Um, It's been a wild ride with ups and downs over the past 10 years for sure. Um, And I know that. The problem is, you know, now I'm at a point where it looks like it basically looks to me like this is the most serious and dire situation I've ever been in because, like I said, when you're celebrating the holidays, it's great. I'm having a lot of fun right now, Kat and I are, but at the same time, when you look at things like, man, this may be the last year that I have a, a Christmas in this house after being here for, you know, since 2014, this may be the end of it, and it's not anything I did, even though, you know, things are up and down or whatever, if people would just stop fucking with me and just let me be, I would have had so many opportunities with sponsorships this year. My partnership would have been fine. I basically, if I had had the a level of income that was increasing the way it was, I would have been fine. But people had to fuck with me. What? And I, it's not that I did anything to prompt it. I, there was no wrongdoing this year. You can't say, oh, look at this horrible thing Phil did this year. No, it's just people just like to fuck with me because they know they can get away with it and they're immoral, disgusting people. Um, I don't know who these people are personally. I, they, you know, I don't have any interaction with them. They just do it to do it because it gives them attention to know that they can fuck with me. And I wouldn't even bring this stuff to the public eye if I didn't need your help, guys. I wouldn't, you know. I would keep this all under wraps, which I did. I kept it most of the year. I kept it under wraps and never publicly talked about it until Thanksgiving because I'm at the point now where I've, I, I've done everything I can. You know, I tried to refinance my house. I tried to do all these things. I can't do anything. So, you know, it is what it is. It sucks because you're right. There are ups and downs, but the problem is this down may be such a down that I lose everything that I've worked so hard for. And I don't want that to happen. You know what I mean? Uh, that would be horrible. That would be a really bad time for me and Cat here. So, you know, it gets to you. It does. It gets to you. It sucks. I prefer a penne. Outside of all that, um, not much else to talk about. I want to apologize to anyone who may say that lately I've been coming off as abrasive or something. You know, I'm going to be honest with all of you up front here before we start today. I'm really happy we're doing a Dragon Quest stream today. Because lately I've been kind of down. I've been kind of in the dumps. All right, and this is just me being honest with all of you here on the stream today. Um, even though, you know, things are going good on the stream and we're getting good progress in all the games and everything, you know, I got this impending worry, and it sucks it's the holiday season. And this is a season when I'm trying to be jolly and happy, and I am. I'm trying to let that Christmas spirit get into me and make me feel bright and merry and everything, but I don't have money to do it. 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 At the same time, the fact that I know in the background that this is a bad situation I'm in behind the scenes, and this may be the last year that I get to stay in this house. Um, it may be the last Christmas I have in this house, you know. Um, it really is, is getting to me, you know. And not to say that, that we're in that situation right now. We're not yet. But, you know, unless unless things really start turn around to turn around... Um, in the next, you know, couple of months, um, I don't foresee a way we're out of it. You know what I mean? Like, and it sucks because it is, it's like eating at me in the background. Bullshit! So I know sometimes I'll be here on a stream and I'll be, everything will look fine. Then all of a sudden I'll snap 
or all of a sudden I'll get, you know, pissy or whatever. And I apologize for that because that's obviously not intended. We're having fun. We're playing games. We're supposed to be chill, right? And you know what? I'll, I will say this. People have actually said they didn't notice. And that's kind of, I guess that's just a testament to the fact that I've done this for so long that, um, <clears throat> that basically, uh, I'm pretty good at this. You know what I mean? Um, I'm pretty good at this and I'm pretty good at not, Letting letting the stuff that's bothering me get to, get to me and or show on the streams that's good, but you know some people have said, "Oh man, Phil, you know you snapped out of nowhere. You really went after this guy or that." I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. And, you know, you're like, yeah, I guess you're right. And you know, this especially again, this is the holiday season. I should be a lot more open and lenient and and merry and you know positive. And I apologize if I have been coming across otherwise for you guys on the streams. Um. You know, because it's, I'm really trying. I am. Um, it just sucks. It sucks that there's things in the background that are that are pulling me down and making me overall feel kind of depressed and messed up in the head. And, you know, that sucks. And it should, certainly shouldn't be affecting my streams. It shouldn't be affecting you guys at all. Um, but it's just life. You know what I mean? <sighs> All right, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to lower my light because my lamp is really bright in my office here. Sometimes just the lighting in the office gets to me too. Like, like you know, right now I got the Christmas lights behind me, which is very nice. But my lamp, I have my lamp on, and it's like too bright, and that hurts my eyes. And then it's like everything just compounds. Are you serious? Now, Wednesday of this coming week is my day off. That's December 5th. When I come back on December 6th, it's going to be an Indies Marathon. I'm going to be playing games. Hold on. I'm going to get the list of games again because I keep forgetting which game it's going to be. Why am I toxic? Okay, so. The list of games is as follows. Um, Axiom Verge. Minecraft. This time I'm going to be playing it on consoles on the Xbox One. Um... The Sonic Dreams Collection, oh boy. Uh, I Want to Be the Guy, Stardew Valley, and Ruiner. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, in regards to this marathon, I don't think I'm going to have time to play six games. Typically when I play a marathon, I play a game for about an hour each. Uh, to an hour and a half each, depending on what game it is and if people are liking it. I get the feeling certain games people will like and want to see me play longer. While other ones, people will be like, meh. You know, just go move on to the next. Um... So what I'll probably do is see, I think out of all these games, the only ones I actually would have to buy, I know I would have to get Minecraft again, because I don't have it on console. Axiom Verge, I know I'd have to buy, I don't think it's a PC only, I'm not sure. <laughs> Ruiner, I don't even know what it is, I've never even heard of it. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to do some research this week and figure this stuff out and get this stuff set up. But Thursday, I'll be doing this variety of... Indie games during the course of the stream, okay? Also, since this is a marathon-style stream, this is a great opportunity to basically set up a day where I can have goals for raising uh, some funds to go towards, you know what, those annoying taxes that are coming up next year, all right? So I think what I'll be doing during the marathon stream is I'll have a running tally of tips to say, here's what we've raised so far today. So for those of you who know what I'm talking about, and are interested in maybe contributing. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. In a bigger way, um, towards, you know, that. This is one of the opportunities this month where it will really help. And I'll be doing a running tally. Because people have been saying, Phil, every day, why don't you have a tips goal on stream? Well, the bottom line is when I'm doing a, a main gameplay, uh, you know, playthrough. Bullshit! I don't want to have a running tally of, oh, now we're up another $5. Now we're up, you know. It makes it seem like it's a telethon or something. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to turn every stream into a freaking telethon. All right. But at the same time, I am realizing we're almost here at the end of the year. And as you guys know, if you were following along, especially if you watched my state of the stream address two weeks ago, everything went wrong on YouTube. Everything went wrong on YouTube. Um, basically, I'm going to need some major help, you know, in a fairly short amount of time when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to, to, you know, raising enough funds to pay my taxes and the like, so I don't lose my house. Um, so that being said, I think this will be an opportunity, a good day, where people want to come by during a marathon and contribute. This is a day where we could do it, 
and track it like that and it won't be too obtrusive because it's just me playing a bunch of indie games. You know what I mean? And then I'll also be doing a podcast on or around Christmas. I'm not guaranteeing this year that's going to be on Christmas only because two reasons. Number one, to do it on Christmas, it's a big ask to ask people to show up on Christmas Day. You guys are probably spending time with your family and friends. And you probably don't want to have to take time away to come watch my stream live. You know what I mean? That's number one. Number two, it's going to be a rare day <clears throat> when Kat and I will both have the day like available to spend together. Now, obviously, everything's closed on Christmas Day. But we may just have a day to spend together at home, which we haven't done at all. I mean that. Since Kat moved in with me in February, every day we've had off, we had to be out and about running around doing errands, going grocery shopping, doing all the shit. And we didn't have any capability to just spend some time at home together. Um, so we may be doing that Christmas Day. So that being said, maybe what I'll do is my Christmas marathon. Or excuse me, not my Christmas marathon. Um, my Christmas kind of, you know, holiday podcast. I'll do maybe Christmas Eve during the day. So that way it's a little bit better than Christmas Day. All right. And then maybe I'll have Christmas Day off and then come back the day after. Okay. I am planning on starting up a new playthrough. Uh, relatively soon. In fact, once I wrap up most of my game playthroughs and I finish up Dragon Quest, I think what I'm going to be doing is starting up a new RPG. <laughs> and the two games that I'm strongly, strongly debating are number one, Shenmue 2 from the Shenmue collection that I played this summer. I played Shenmue 1. Or Final Fantasy 4, which is a game I've always wanted to play. It's a game I grew up with. It's a game I love the plot of. I love the gameplay mechanics of. I bought the version that was released on Steam that's basically the remastered version of the 3DS version with extra content, um, and it looks better to HD graphics, and I think I, that, that's kind of what I'm leading towards at this point, okay, okay, um, and once most of these ongoing playthroughs wrap up, I may be reintegrating certain content into the streams, for example. What? A lot of people are liked when I was playing Street Fighter regularly and I haven't played it in months. Maybe I'll start reintegrating a streamer or, or so or Street Fighter every week or something, all right? We'll see. Fucking what? I was blocking! This is fucking bugged, dude! After Christmas, I'm gonna start working on my year-end videos, which is my worst or most disappointing games of the year countdown and then my game of the year awards. So, woo! Uh, as you guys know, I've been really heavily you know focused on the streams recently trying to get stuff done and in the next couple of days fyi we're going to be finishing a ton of playthroughs we're going to be finishing up star siders 3 star siders 3 and spyro 3 tomorrow and i am looking forward by the way to all the new stuff coming up finally we need some refreshment right we really do we need some refreshment because these ongoing playthroughs although they're fun they tend to linger and people like to see new stuff so I think that Smash could be a way to reinvigorate the streams and get people back to the streams who maybe have been away for a little bit because I've been playing the same ongoing stuff over and over. Corpse of Cure Chew said, what happened to your We Happy Few playthrough? Well, so many people complained when I was playing the game that it ran like shit and they weren't interested. I stopped playing it. And then apparently they eventually patched it, but that's why they did. by the time they did, all the new games were coming out and no one gave a shit. The Pwn Cake says, you deserve more views. I like how you deliver your commentary. Well, the bottom line is... It doesn't really matter. I don't really care about views. I'm serious. I just stopped caring about that shit a long time ago. <laughs> I really did. So I think that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, every major stream is going to be Smash. And then maybe I'll pair that with uh, some other stuff at night. If not, just doing like that first day, I'll probably do all Smash all day. The first thing I can tell you, salt. I'm trying to think if there's anything in particular I really need to talk about. Um, not really. You know, we're starting a new month here. Yesterday, I announced the new subscriber goal this month will be the return of the retrospective event, where if we hit a certain sub uh, subscriber level this month, I'll be doing a special marathon event in January where we'll be looking back at my over 10 years as a content creator, picking the, the, the choice moments, whether it's a fun playthrough, whether it was an edited video or game review, all the things that basically put me on the map and people really enjoy watching going back and watching those together on a reactionary stream or excuse me a rea reactive stream reactionary is a different word someone corrected me yesterday on stream it's actually a reactive stream okay um bullshit because people really liked the last retrospective event that i did so much they said will you ever do another one and i said sure but obviously i can't do it right away because i got the hardcore gaming season coming up and boy let me tell you the last two months have been so busy with game releases there was no way I would have been able to do one anyway, so that's why I'm thinking January is the perfect time to do another one of those, okay? The blackest eyes. The devil's eyes. Patreon, okay? If 
you want to be able to nominate on the moments of my 10 years as a creator that we're going to be looking at during this retrospective. If you become a $5 or more patron this month, you'll be able to do that. You'll be nominating those moments on my forums. And in fact, it was this ongoing thread of nominations last time around. It helped me tremendously to pick the stuff that I was going to watch during that event. If I didn't have this ongoing list of giant amount of suggestions from the patrons, that event would have been a nightmare. I would have never been able to remember the stuff, and I probably would have ended up not even having half as many good things to watch as we had. <laughs> Here's ex All right, I'm announcing this right now. Exactly what we're going to do is this week I'm working today, Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday's my day off. When I come back on Thursday for the Indies Marathon, I will set up a subscriber goal based on where we are then, okay? That way we can start working toward it. Maybe we can even hit it. Because like I said, I think I think what's going to happen is on Thursday, it's my Indies Marathon, and I'm going to have goals that I'm raising. We'll have a subscriber goal. We'll have a tips goal. We'll have goals in place to try to hit during that marathon event. And I think that'll motivate people to, to you know, contribute. And then maybe we'll hit it that day, all right? That's what we'll do. That way we've we've locked it in stone. There's no uncertainty about what's going to happen for this month, okay? Now, if you really want to help out right now, and you heard all this thing, you're like, wow, Phil has a lot of ways to contribute. I wonder, you know, what's the best one? What can I help with the most? It will be tipping me. Because right now, the first two weeks of the month, all of my bills clear, including credit cards, mortgages, uh, utilities, everything clears in the first two weeks, but then I don't get paid by Twitch until the middle of the month. So what happens is I have the money to pay everything, but it comes late. And the last couple of months, I've had some problems with my bank account, all right? So if you tip me, those are funds that can go straight to my bank account and pay bills and will allow me to not have those issues I've had the past couple of months. So if you have the option to choose how you're going to contribute today, please tip me if you can. Phil, you make me angry, Phil. <clears throat> uh, once again, what? Everlasting cucksucker cheers is can we nominate hater videos? No. Because the bottom line is, it's this simple. Um, that would give attention to them. And I don't want to give any more undue attention to them. They don't deserve it to begin with. There's enough people who already give them attention. And, you know, I, I, I told you, my streams are meant to be more chill and fun. Not to be constantly looking at that stuff and discussing it. And basically just, you know, being dramatic. That's not what I'm all about. Especially not anymore. I've changed a lot in the past couple of years, okay? So the answer is no. And then Everlasting did another chair. Says, can't Twitch reach out to YouTube on your behalf to shut channels down? No. That's the problem is, if this were all happening on Twitch, it would be done. In fact, it already was. This, The people who do nasty stuff to me try doing it on Twitch, and they're all gone. They've all been taken care of. Twitch said, no, this is morally wrong. It's illegal. There's multiple things wrong here. And they got rid of these people. Then they go off and do it on YouTube, and it's like, oh, it's the Wild West on YouTube. Do whatever you want. So... You can suck my balls and uh, lick my tank. Dark side Phil. What? Worthless humans. Fuck you. Fucking piece of shit. Forever. No. Forever. Oh my god. <laughs>